It's day one of full yard work. I'm going to try to knock out all of the sanding today. Not sure if I'll get it all done, but I'm gonna get the sanding, start sanding, and I also have people coming to look at the windows today. So that will be. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Yeah, this is it. Go! 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 Yeah, this is it. Go! Let's go! This is yeah, this is it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Yeah, this is it. Go! Go! I have gotten like from the keel, the front of the keel to the bow is sanded. And I have that much more to go. So I'm probably maybe 25% done. My eyes hurt so bad. I need like swimming goggles to wear. I'm really interested in how the keel's gonna go because there's rust at the bottom. And I've been told about 20 times I should have hired someone, but I don't really care enough to do that. But my windlass was also taken out, didn't really film it. Um, they just came and took it out, said it was pretty much a mess. I wouldn't be surprised if I need to get a new one, but they are going to align it correctly. Just, I told them I want it 100%. So that's in the works finally, and that will feel really good. But I won't need to use it. I won't be anchoring until I leave back for the Bahamas in a month and a half. So, yeah. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but it's about 4.30, 4.45, and it's all sanded. Um, yeah, not too bad. It was better than doing the deck of the boat. So I feel good. I'm about to head home. Well, I have to leave the boat and edit and sleep early tonight. That was a long day. I'm really happy with it. So paint or ceiling tomorrow, I'm not sure which. It's morning two in the yard. I got some epoxy to put on the keel where some of the rust is showing. Mainly like spots like this. Going to clean the rest of the through holes today. And then I am trying to figure out like add some paint chipping. 
And so I need to figure out what to do with that before, because I know I should just paint it. And then hopefully I'll be painting this afternoon. I'm gonna be, I have a friend coming over to look at replacing my mini fridge with a tool closet. And so that will be also another exciting project. I'm tired of chasing you down. I need serenity now. Was it too much to ask for? On the west side, you're my blind side. You've got something to prove. I just put Interprotect on the keel to put all the metal that was showing. That's what you see there. Underneath was a bit harder because I couldn't sand it with the sander. So next time I get in the yard, I'm gonna have them block me for that. So you can see it chipping everywhere. But I put it on anyway, just in case it does something. Um, now I'm going to take care of all these little things and fill those in. I have to wait 10 hours for this stuff to dry before I can sand it. And then I need another coat and wait another 10 hours. And today's Thursday and I thought I'd be painting today, but I won't be painting till Saturday, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm gonna mix other stuff which is 3M Premium Filler. Is recommended by other painters in the yard. And then I'll be done for the day. I have about 15 minutes till the yard closes and I just finished sealing up all of these. Go. So I'm gonna head home, a few meetings tonight, and then I'll start tomorrow morning. We'll start with sanding all of this stuff, reapplying, sanding, and then hopefully painting. And maybe I'll have time to get the through hole out tomorrow. And the seacock out that I need to replace. Yeah, I'm really excited with how today went. Yeah. It is day, it's, I don't even know what day it is. It's Friday, I got in the yard on Tuesday. And today I'm gonna be sanding down all the patches I did and seeing where that takes me and then maybe painting.
I've done the second round of the epoxy filler. And I'm gonna sand it. Saturday and I just got to the yard this morning I'm going to sand this down and then patch it with the filler and then sand that down and then put primer on and I have to wait three hours after the primers put on may finish the prop during that time retape everything and see what else I can do have another meeting with Duckett for the teak today and hopefully the dinghy's getting picked up to get patched. And then I'll do, so in those three hours I'm waiting for the primer, I will do all that. And then hopefully I'll be able to do my first coat of paint today. That'll be very exciting and very relieving. After I do the paint, I will be working on all of this and getting that looking decent again because it's driving me insane and I brought all that stuff today because it shipped yesterday or my through hole today or my sea clock today the painting's probably going to take me a long time because I've never really done it watch me come out I just finished doing the Primacon primer. So all these patches, anything bare that was showing, all the heel. Now I have to wait three hours and then I can just paint. I don't have to sand. So two o'clock, I should be able to finally start painting and hopefully no more sanding. So I'm going to redo some of the tape where it's a little messed up and figure out what to do in the meantime. I just replaced all the new wires for the speakers, well, the indication, whatever. The wires going from the stereo to the speakers. Um, I just replaced all those from here, and now I'm gonna see. Looks like I'm gonna need connectors for the rest. I have about 15 more minutes, and I'll get the tape better around, start getting the trays and getting the paint ready, and then paint the bottom. I messed up today. Um, it's 12.54 and my paint has been sitting in the office. I thought they were open. I never knew they closed at 12. So my paint is locked in the office till Monday. But I did bring my whole cleaner because it's Al Grip so it's not necessarily wax, I guess. But I do have that so I'm gonna start on that and I'll paint on Monday.
so the whole whole hole is washed um i used i'm gonna show you what i used because i've never used it before and it's called on and off hole and bottom cleaner um, basically got all the rust off the gel coat it got a lot of the algae off you can still see a little bit of staining. There's still a little bit of adhesive, so I'm gonna get some adhesive remover. But you can see like this whole thing was pretty much algae. You can see some leftover, but I'm also gonna put some Boat Cleaner Pro, which formerly called Marine Strip on it. And then I have some on and off sitting on that right now. So I'll do that again and scrub it because that's really bad. So tomorrow I will polish this. And then Monday, either Monday or Monday and Tuesday, probably Monday and Tuesday, I will paint the bottom. Splash is scheduled for Friday. As of now, I'll probably ask Lisa if there's anything that opens up Wednesday or, th Wednesday or Thursday um, that I'd like to take it. It's Sunday and I am going to polish the hole. This will be for any leftover scum, hopefully. This takes off everything. It's amazing, and that will be last resort. And then this is to polish, because it's all grip paint. Do this again, but I wanted to go over my process that has worked for that part. Currently, working for this part, so all of this is super bad and it wouldn't come off. Um, I used it on and off yesterday for that, and I'm having to use it again for this. Very concentrated and very burns a lot. I'm using like double pods, but. My process, I have a four step process right now. Um, definitely the most intense full clean that I've done on and off for the bottom. Then I do the marine rats everywhere. You can see where I've done it so far. And then I do any of the Boat Cleaner Pro, which used to be called Marine Strip. It's my favorite product. Um, I'm also linking all of these below. So I have a Amazon list of all the products I use on the boat and these will be there. If you need to um, so then I use the Boat Cleaner Pro on like the white to get the blue back off and on any other marks that I may have. It is literally a miracle um, product doesn't really get like those water stains off and it doesn't really get rust off but it works on almost everything else it's amazing and then i'm using all grip for the final coat and it looks super glossy and i'm very excited with how this is looking there are definitely other products i could have used and maybe should have used but this is what i had and is what I'm using for now. It's Monday morning and it's time to paint. So there's a storm coming so I know I have sun at least till 12. So I'm gonna try to knock as much out as I can. I'm gonna tape again and then start painting. I got the power 
got a call from the people that are coming to fix the dinghy they are ready so I'm going to lower that I'd say I'm 75 to 80 percent done painting I have like on the starboard side I have half of it left and then I have the keel left so pretty close I just put a new battery in the GoPro so I'll be able to finish filming I don't even know what day it is at the yard, but it is Monday night and two coats of paint are done. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it in one day. I still have to do where the stands are and then I need another brush to finish up those few spots, but it's done. And as I'm finishing filming, I see those storms rolling in. So I guess it was a good time to finish. She's painted. It's Tuesday and technically the tropical storm hurricane is supposed to hit tomorrow, so I'm gonna go check the status on that pretty soon. Um, so I'm probably doing hurricane prep today. I'm going to get a paintbrush and do all the little pieces. And then I wanna finish polishing this hopefully and do the prop. And just prep the bow, I guess. Prep and polish is what I'm going for today. I came in to get my camera and say that I finished painting the hole, well, waxing the hole, um, and then it started raining. So anyway, the hole is officially waxed and I only have a few more paint jobs, but I'm done for the day. 
the rain has stopped a teeny bit right before I was pulling out, so the storm is rolling in. When Jen's tied up, Tingy's at the shop. So a little recap for today. The rudder bearing is epoxied in. Prop is has one coat of paint. And the hole is shiny. Tomorrow I'll finish doing a second coat on the lights and all the really, like all the creases by the keel and take the paint off and then do whatever else I can do. I'll install the new seacock and be done in the yard. It's gonna be raining for the next two days but I do have a splash confirmed for Friday. Hopefully the bridges are open. They are shut down right, they shut down tomorrow at one I think, don't really remember. So hopefully on Friday they are open so I can get launched because there's nowhere really for me to go if the bridges are shut.